Hey, good evening, morning, day again. I don't really know the time when you're watching this, but um, happy midweek. It is a Wednesday today. Um, I just thought I'd share another thought I had. So um, after work today, I went on my um, post-work ration run. Um, and I, I've got like a running playlist on Spotify, um, which to be fair, I, may, I changed the songs about two weeks ago because I hadn't changed any songs in about two years. Um, and I, it's one of those things, every time I go to the gym or go to, or go on a run, I put this playlist on and I'm just like, oh, I wish I need, I just want to change some songs and update it and stuff like that. But I always don't want to do it when I'm about to go on a run because I feel like I'm going to end up spending like two hours on Spotify changing my songs and then I'm not going to want to go on a run and I know I should go on a run so I can be like anti snatched. Um, but anyway, um, where was I going with that? Oh, I ch changed my playlist, but I decided I didn't want to listen to that playlist. I wanted to, I was like, what else can I listen to? So I was like, okay, idea, I'll, High School Musical. Um, and I recently watched High School Musical 3, which I had seen before. Um, I'm a very avid High School Musical fan. We can get into that another point. Um, but I watched High School Musical 3 recently, which I probably hadn't seen in years. Um, I usually, if I ever do a High School Musical marathon, which I probably do at least every other month, um, I go High School Musical 1, High School Musical 2, High School Musical 2 again, and then High School Musical 2 just carried on. Um, but I decided to listen to High School Musical on this run. Um, so I was there running, blah, blah, blah. I think the first song to come on was... <sighs> Maybe Stick to the Status Quo? I think it was Stick to the Status Quo when I was running down the hill. I get down there and then Gotta Go My Own Way came on and I was like, ah, oh, interesting. And I was listening to it and I was running. And I got close to the end, so I was like, repeat. And I was really thinking whilst listening to Gotta Go My Own Way. Um, it's such a good, I mean, it's no You Are The Music and Me, which is, I think, all agreed, like, unanimously, the whole world agrees, like, You Are The Music and Me is at the top, 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 top of High School Musical songs. Um, but Gotta Go My Own Way is a banger. It really is. I'm, like, listening to it right now. They're just, like, stay. It's just very powerful and it's kind of like Vanessa has these moments in all three of those films where she's like, I gotta leave you, Zach. I've got a jet off, you know. And then he has his like re like reacting song later on. Um I think that's in like both the films. Um but she does have those moments in film in the first film. Um I can't remember what that song's song's called, but she's like, I don't like really fit in here. She's like going through the corridors and I just remember like there's a massive poster of Troy. Um and then in this one she's like, I've got to leave, like Lava Springs, this isn't for me. I feel like we're like drifting apart. You're becoming a bit too like with it with Sharpe. Um and he's like, No, I'm here for you. I still want your mum's cookies, blah blah blah. Um but it's a it's a really powerful song. Um and it wasn't that I wouldn't, I, I didn't give it enough credit, because I do, um, like, last summer at most of the karaoke's Gotta Go My Own Way was the tune, um, Leaving Uni, Le Go My Own Way, that was like the first song we played, like, driving out of Bournemouth, um, but you, I would never associate it with a song I could listen to on repeat on a run, and I did, so I did a five mile run, listening to Gotta Go My Own Way the whole time. Apart from the first song, which was Stick to Status Quo. Um, yeah. And I'm just kind of like listening to it right now and it is just really interesting. That's all I wanted to share. The, the, to be perfectly honest, I, like there was no, there's no character, there's no arc to this, to this video. I'm basically just saying that Gotta Go Mary Ray is a good song. And I think we all agreed on that before. Um, yeah. Interesting. Okay. That's all I'm going to leave you with. Go listen to Gotta Go Mary Ray. It's, it's, also I'm listening to it in like more of like a, like a powerful positive note. And she's like real not doing good in this song. She's having that, she's having her identity crisis. Um about what's going on. I think she does know what she wants and Zach also knows what she wants. And kind of in the song, he's like, I want you to stay. And she's like, no, but she also wants to be with him. So it's kind of contradicting too. But the whole choreography is great. And then this song also gives us bet on it, which that's a whole nother board game. It's a whole nother, je ne sais quoi pas. Um, yeah, hmm. anyway, hope you're all doing well, staying safe. As you can see, I've, I've still got my sanity. I'm still, like, obviously doing well. 
um, hence why I'm making a five minute video on Got to Go My Own Way. Um, we've been through, what about trust? Um, okay, anyway, have a nice evening, have a good rest of your week. I hope you all find something fun, creative, productive, something different to do, or just relax because be, like, even relaxing is productivity because it took me a long time to realize that if I'm enjoying relaxing, if I'm enjoying watching a film, if I'm enjoying just drawing, reading a book, doing, going on a run, that is productive. So if I want to go and lay out in the sun, that's me being productive. If I want to just like sit inside and watch High School Musical 2 on repeat, like six times in one day, that's productive to me, you know? Anyway, okay. Ciao.